Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Econobox Garage. In this week's episode, we continue with our bug eye build, and the goal for this week is to get the passenger side floor pan finished up, the driver's side cleaned up and assessed, and hopefully we'll get started on welding stuff back together. Uh, getting into a little bit more detail on how to remove the rear uh, spring plate, and a couple of other little items on the punch list. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so here we have the car flipped over and looking on the inside for the uh, floor pan. So all I've got to do now is uh, do these these plug welds over here. Uh, there's uh, a couple of plug welds just along here, along here, and this one here. I'm going to have to use the hammer to bang that down. There's quite a quite a big gap there, and then around inside the foot well here it's down that side and across the end it's nice and tight across the end and i'll just have to massage it down a bit on on that edge there it's um hard to see but right down along the floor here on that edge uh, there's uh, some plug welds that's nice and tight so it should be pretty good uh, to get welded in there so quite happy with that so that's what i'm going to get uh, to next well, I've got the floor pan all welded in now. Uh, it was fun getting the ones um, in the in the footwell here, especially the ones down along the back side of there, but I, they are that done. So I put in some more uh, rust converter spray down along here and a couple of other spots. So I just have to wait uh, for that to dry. And I cleaned up the uh, floor pan that I left in. Um, quite happy with the progress with on this today and uh, next up I've got to look after that side Well, here's the bottom of the driver's side. You can see the rust here underneath that reinforcing rib, but it doesn't appear to be too much further than that. The floor is solid, but I'll find out for sure once I start cleaning it off. But uh, first order of business is to get the spring plate off. There's a weld right through here, a bit of a weld under here, so I'll cut that one out. I think there's one just down under here as, as well. So. So those welds will have to be cut out and also the there'll be some spot welds around here that we'll be able to see once I clean it off. That'll be the first order of business uh, today. So uh, let's get to it. So there we have the uh, spring plate off and you can see along that edge where I cut through the weld and then on this side here also let's uh, focus there there we go you can see where I cut through most of the weld on that side it wasn't weld on the uh, outside of this so I uh, wasn't too worried so that's so that's what the plate looks like when it's off 
and that's what it is underneath it. The reason the spring plate has to come off is that the floor pan is actually sandwiched between it and the uh, spring box. That's the original floor pan there. So now that I've got that off, out with the wire brushes, an angle grinder, and away we go. Well, I've done a lot of cleaning. A lot of the spot welds are all drilled out, uh, with the, or cut with the spot weld cutter. And I'm going to do my cut, my first cut, on the top side of uh, the tape here. Uh, we'll just do that. Uh, that should clear most of the, the worst of the rust. And then I'll just go down the middle. Now, if you remember on the other side, there is a reinforcing beam across here. Uh, so I'm just going to cut right down the middle of that. And when I put this back together, I'll just butt weld uh, the two. Or I might even... Actually, I might even flange it. That might work better, but I'll decide that later. So that's going to be my first cut. And I'm just going to, along the bottom here, I'll cut right across here and all the way. And then all of this will have to get cleaned out. And I'm beginning to think I may have to do a bit more work in this area on this side compared to what I did on the, the passenger side. So let's get that angle grinder out with the cutting disc and we'll get to work. So there we have the first piece of the floor on the driver's side cut out. Um, I'll uh, just get the saws all out and, and cut, finish that cut up to the, the bulkhead here and get rid of these uh, spot welds. And then I'll clean up this corner as well. It looks like I may have to replace this piece here. Uh, it's pretty badly rusted down at this end. Pretty badly rusted uh, down in through here as well. So I'll have a look at that. I'm not too concerned about this part. I can easily put a patch in in there and I'll just have to cut down around here a little bit. Okay, next on the list is to get a patch put in uh, right in here. So um, I cut a piece out and cleaned up the edges on, on both sides. So that will get put in there. Now the method I'm gonna use, I learned about on a channel called Fitzy's Fabrications. He calls this the cut and butt method. So I'm not actually gonna cut the hole in the panel I'm gonna patch. I'm just going to tax this on, and then you take your angle grinder and cut at an angle into that one spot weld at a time, push it down into match, and that way you've got a, a nice narrow gap. Uh, he can explain it much better, and I'll put a, a link to uh, uh, at least one of his videos uh, explaining it much better than I can. Well, you can see now that I've got the the patch panel welded on top with just a few spot welds um, around the perimeter. So the, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm just going to cut out uh, the corner weld here and I'll push this down. I should probably cut out this one and this one to start. So I'll cut those down at an angle with the angle grinder. It results in a relatively narrow gap and then when you push down on this it uh, helps level things up and you're, you know that your hole is, exact, is the same size as your patch. Well, I got off to a bit of a rough start, um, as you can see here. I mean, my cuts weren't as tight to the new piece as they should have been. So this is a bit I bit last. You can see there's hardly any gap. So as I went around, um, <laughs> I got better at it. But the idea now is to go around and then just stitch it a little bit at a time. Cool. Make sure it's cool. Do do the next step, so the uh, you don't end up putting a lot of heat into the panel and warping it. And then, uh, yeah. So quite pleased with this part. Not so much of where I started. So it'll take some doing to, to patch all that up. 
Yeah, I'm just looking back at this, other than the, the bit of warping in the panel, which is kind of hard to see and isn't going to be noticed. I'm quite happy with with uh, how that turned out. Um, so especially once I got the hang of doing the cut along the, the two sides here. But lesson learned on that is uh, take your time. This is the foot well from the uh, passenger side that I cut out. And I'm going to uh, drill out these spot welds now, or cut them out. Uh, take this little drain cover and I'm going to install it up over here uh, because the uh, the replacement pan didn't have that so well this is back on the passenger side now so I've got the hole drilled for the floor drain and I have the uh, the little uh, drain cover I uh, pulled off from the the old floor pan so the idea now I'll get some zinc primer or some weld through primer on the other side of that and we'll just uh, spot weld that right on there so any water that gets in will drain out that and gets uh, pulled out that way and there's the finished product I uh, drilled about a 3 8 or 5 16 hole in the floor pan and positioned this this one uh, similarly to the one on the other side and uh, once we get I know I keep mentioning seam sealer, that'll be going on once I've got all the welding done on both sides of the floor. And then I'll just seam seal around that uh, while I'm at it. But uh, that's uh, another step closer. Well, that wraps up this week's episode. Uh, I got quite a lot done. Very pleased with the progress I've made this week. And hopefully you'll find some of that information useful. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And also hit that little bell icon so that you get notified when the next videos come out. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.